Hello everyone, I am Monica from IELTS 9 channel. So, before liking and subscribing my channel, let's discuss this writing task 1 question that was part of 4th February 2022. And here in this video, I will be explaining, discussing and analyzing the things of, uh, relating to this task 1. Okay, it's really important to analyze the task before you just go for writing only. Okay, let's start the main important things. First, always read the question statement, what the question statement is asking about this, uh, write, uh, this writing task one. That is, as you we know, this is bar graph. The chart shows the employment status of adults in the US in 2003 and 2013. The, the chart, okay, this is bar graph, bar chart you can say. And they are showing the employment status of in, adults uh, in the US. It means US citizens okay in 2003 and 2013 so these two years they have brought up uh, the gap they have brought up the data here from this task one okay now after find reading this question statement you have to read the uh, title of the reading uh, title of this task one that is employment categories of adult population this is the title okay now uh, you just see after that you just see what type of data they have given so this is given in percentages okay so percentage is this 50 percent 45 percent 40 percent this is percentage okay percentage is given and two years are there and categories what else are categories for so first one is educational education training Second one is hotel industry, third one is medical, fourth one is building, Fifth, uh, next one is business, then self-employment and unemployed. These are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 categories are there, okay. 7 categories, these are the names, so this is the uh, bar graph. Now, we have read the title, the data presented in percentages. And there are two years and there are seven categories. Okay. Now, how to read? We I have already explained it to you. First, read the question statement and then your um, uh, your photo, the, your image and your categories, years and data. This is now what's important to find out from this, uh, from this data, from this graph. So, can you see? The maximum, the minimum, the most important thing you have to find it in table chart, bar graph, line graph. What is the maximum or highest point in this um, task? That is this and this we can see. First position this, second position this and the lowest I can see here this. This also, this category also, these two categories also. How? So what important things you will be looking at? Highest, maximum minimum lowest highest or maximum i mean to see uh, minimum or lowest point also you can see and third fourth one is third one is other important uh, significant thing or trend you can see uh, definitely it will be there three points will be there maximum mi uh, minimum and some stable kind of thing definitely you will find you will find it in every table or task any task bar graph line graph so here you can see same kind of same kind of they all are at 20 percent you can see the same trend is going on here in um, in these uh, in these categories okay so now we have come to know everything now what are the vocabulary you are going to use it for writing task one i will show it to you so these words you can use it but for detailed vocabulary uh, video I have already made it uh, recently January exams you can see my January exams video Th on thumbnail it will be there writing task 1 January IELTS exam there I have shared detailed vocabulary about bar graph also specifically uh, ta uh, table pie chart all all kind of things I have shared it in detail on in those videos in January uh, January IELTS exam writing task one you can check it recently my, my recently videos okay 
Now, how to write introduction in this writing task one? First, look at my look at the question. The chart shows the employment status of adults in the U.S. in 2003 and 30. Here, what I have written, you can write it. The presented presented vertical bar graph illustrates simple. I am telling you, uh, and then uh, I will change something here. The presented vertical bar graph illustrates means shows the percentage of American adults in different fields. of employment from 2003 to 2013 now what changes i can give it i can just bring it here first of all the presented vertical bar graph which illustrates so i will be putting it here which illustrate this is the demand of ielts examiner he will look at these kinds of sentences also in your writing task 1 also which illustrates the percentage or proportion of american adults in different fields here by doing brackets you can write all these categories names okay if you if you are unable to write uh, 170 or 160 words then you can always write these these category names here okay different fields uh, different fields in bracket or such as uh, all seven categories of employment from 2003 to 2030 so this is my uh, introductions you can say now what about this overall okay overall means your conclusion is there but uh, in in uh, writing task 1 you are not going to say anything about to conclude or to sum up no so the language is this overall it is readily apparent so spelling is wrong here uh, i will check it just a minute uh, apparent i think a will not come here okay so it is readily apparent or overall from the uh, it can be seen that it it is evident from the graph you can say so many languages many words you will find it uh, readily for writing task one language overall it is readily apparent that the number of adults okay the number of adults means now i am going to write about the highest thing first i will read it then i will change something that the number of adults who were employed in the business area now it's better overall it is readily apparent uh, from the graph you can write okay from the graph that the number of adults who were employed in the business area ranked first means this 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 category was at you can see this business category at was at number 1 highest point the it category this category was having okay so that's why ranked first in both given years in both given years here in overall paragraph we are not going to write any facts and figures only the main things what you have uh, what you uh, what you have um, checked from the graph that you need to tell without facts and figures while so contradict contra uh, comparison kind of language is really important in task 1 while there was a downward trend in terms of medical and business sector so you can say a uh, downward trend actually this is Mm, this is the medical sector earlier it was having uh, it was having uh, this thing it was at around 20 but downward trend is there okay in medical and which sector he is saying and uh, medical and business sectors yes of course in business sector also from this point to this point there are uh, in these two areas we can see the downward trend otherwise in other areas we can see the upward trend you can see okay here also and in unemployed also three these three categories you can see medical business and unemployed categories they have seen uh, the downward trend but this is better that uh, earlier uh, people were more uh, unemployed but now less unemployed people is there okay so this we have written medical and business sectors have shown downward trend in their 
uh, in their categories okay now this is overall now let's looking uh, look into the detail so how we can write the detail i will show it to you see if you just write the things so there are two years so it all depends how what kind of things uh, what kind of method you will adopt there are two methods to write details into writing task one first is take 2003 and 2003 if for in different paragraph take 2013 in different paragraph first method second method take category wise take category wise because we know uh, orange one is 2003 green one is 2013 so category wise you pick the categories like first i have suppose i have picked one first the business category because this is the highest whenever we are going to write about details always pick the highest point of uh, point uh, from the graph and then explain it first okay not necessarily that you will explain it like uh, line wise first you explain this okay explain this business sector that then you can say then in 2003 the business sector it was um, touching almost highest point around uh, more than 45 percent uh, but it uh, dropped uh, significantly um, less than 30 percent in 2013 so there are two ways take year wise or take categories category wise but when you will be explaining the things like you can adopt uh, you can uh, which one you can combine these two categories from upward to downward from upward to downward and you can take these categories at one go from less to higher less to higher sorry for the interruption so sorry so i have explained it to you there are two ways first you take you can you can explain it year wise or you can explain it category wise okay but side by side whenever you are explaining the details please use contrast language contrast language like uh, contrasting language like uh, here i have used while okay on the contrary or on the other hand despite also if also i have used and but also okay so many languages you uh, words you can use it to show the contrasting language okay so now looking into the details of 2003 so i have done it accordingly 2013 and 2003 so side by side i have compared the categories inside during this year so it's important to compare the things otherwise it will not bring any uh, good bands okay in 2003 about 45 percent of adults worked as businessmen so as i told you i will be explaining first the most important point or category in the graph about 45 percent of adults worked as businessmen or businesswomen so while medical staff uh, ranked second position so if you are taking year wise then definitely you can uh, you can do it like that which is the first one which is the second one or which is the last one while medical staff ranked second position just above 20 percent as far as the case of as far as the case of self-employed unemployed and jobs in construction the proportion declined accordingly with a figure of above uh, 10 percent okay and so now and or here you can use another word instead of uh, uh, while or uh, another anything you can use it on the other hand also you can use it and the same trend followed by hospitality industry accounted for minimals almost uh, four percent the lowest figure in 2003 so which is the lowest figure hotel industry this is the low lowest figure here hotel industry okay now this is uh, first uh, body paragraph three first detail okay now about the second year detail on the contrary okay in 2013 despite business category was still an appealing job of course business category again it was um, business and this category uh, was at the highest point not uh, very less than these categories 
despite business categories category was still an appealing uh, job to uh, adults the figures dropped approximately by 10% that we have to show that earlier it was at this level and now figures drop if we look at the progress if we look at the progress of self self employed and unemployed status about 18% now and they ranked second uh, second and the last with number of 6% okay so 18% what is 18% progress of self employed and unemployed progress of self employed okay so they have also increased too much and this also has increased although it is decreasing but its good unemployment level have decreased okay so this way they have given from to here 18% okay hmm so but yes i have used but also or however also you can use the word so i will change it however also you can use the word however if you want however surprisingly medical workers proportion was reduced nearly 10% so 13% which claimed now i have used this word which claimed lowest in its progress so medical workers um, was reduced nearly 13% which claimed lowest lowest in its progress okay so lowest here means medical workers you can see yeah which was lowest about 10% you can see nearly 13 or 10% whatever is written yeah you can see now let's look at my full full essay this is the question statement this is introduction overall second paragraph and third paragraph and you can see my fourth paragraph also or if you want to write it in more detail you can always write it there is no problem okay thank you so much